Media Composer 6 has an amazing multi-camera feature. Check it out. To start, you can see I have four clips within a bin. Each clip represents one camera angle. The first step is to find a sync point for each camera. So I'll drag the first clip into the source window and I'm going to mark an end point at the point where the girl jumps into the air. Okay, so I've marked the same point in time for my other three clips where the girl is jumping into the air. After you've found a sync point for all four clips, select the clips within the bin. Then navigate to the bin menu and choose Group Clips. Click OK to group by the endpoints. This will create a grouped clip within your bin. The next step is to drag your grouped clip into an empty timeline. This will create an untitled sequence. I recommend that you give your sequence a name. Now navigate to the special menu and choose multi-camera mode. Now as I back up through the timeline you can see all the camera angles are in sync. So now as soon as you press the play button you can cut between the different camera angles in real time. If you decide to make a change to one of the angles, park the playhead indicator over the segment you want to change within the timeline, and then hold down the Alt key and click on the camera angle to switch out. However, there's one catch. Notice how Media Composer kept the audio from the first camera and only performed video cuts. To fix this, navigate to the Project window and click on the Settings tab. Then double click on the Composer settings. Within the Composer settings, under the Window tab, click on the option to display two rows of data. In the upper left corner of the Source window, you will now see a multi-cam icon. In this menu, you can tell Media Composer to cut your audio and video together. You can also switch out a specific audio or video segment by selecting a different camera angle. So in this case, I'll choose the audio from the lockdown camera. And remember, you'll still have access to all the standard Media Composer editing features even after you choose to leave multi-camera mode. For example, if I made a particular camera edit at the wrong point in time, I can enter into trim mode by dragging a lasso around an edit point and make a quick adjustment. Then click on the timecode track to enter back into multi-camera mode. It's that easy. For other advanced multi-camera techniques, check out our Certified Media Composer training classes at GeniusDV.com.